but I was very intent on being independent. Absolutely was imperative for me not to end up like my mother and my aunt, you know, being looked after by my aunt. I just, whether I'm married or not, I had to be independent. Brighton seems to be the right place because of um, just, I haven't been back for 50 years. I mean, now it's, it's a completely different town. It's, it's full of young people. You never saw young people then. I think we were the only young people, you know, in Brighton at the time, but now it's completely young. It's incredible. Because really, it sort of all started here. We're sitting in the new uh, Brighton University, I guess it is. It's not the art school. When I was here, it was an art school, solely art school. There was a wonderful teacher called Joanne Brogdon. Yeah, and then I, I, I always remember her surprise when she found that I'd passed the pattern cutting and sewing class, which was really rotten, really not very good, because it was a sort of dress like that with a couple of pockets. And she said, you passed? I can't believe it. Well, I just found that she hated the nudes, nude drawing, the horrible nudes that used to come in here. So I used to just check in and out to the cinema up the road. We're, we're sitting in the car because it's pouring with rain. And I, it, it's a very beautiful building, which must have been the cinema. And Audrey Hepburn was great. I really thought she was fantastic. She was so fresh and she's visually incredible. Sort of, she looked like a fashion drawing. My aunt said to me, I've, um, I think you should enter this competition in, uh, in the Evening Standard, and it's to design a garment. And there were three sections. There was day, beach, and evening. And she said, she explained to me what I should draw uh, for the day thing. So I drew it for Auntie, you know. <laughs> and it was a very co complicated garment that you could see throughout the day and into di evening, dinner, and so on. And uh, I thought, well, I think I'll send something in. I want to do something and I'll do a beach thing. So I did a drawing of um, Audrey Hepburn, who was sort of the big, big young star at the time, and I sent it in. And then, you know, two, three weeks later, they rang, rang up and said, you've won. <laughs> and I had to go and tell my aunt. I rang up to my aunt and I said, auntie, auntie, I've, uh, I won the competition, the stand, and she said, Oh, my darling, I knew. I said, it wasn't your garment, it was mine. I thought she was going to kill me. <laughs> Guiltless fashion was so important to me in any way. So you could have something new every week. Designing is, is the pleasurable bit but just getting the, the clothes into the shop, because people were wanting more, more, more. You were exhausted by the time you got home, and you weren't sort of planning for great futures. We opened here because I knew Brighton town. You know, my husband, Fitz, was running the business side. Okay. So he was like, still keeping it moving forward but it was a different time it was completely mm. you know and there wasn't people were starved of things you know of nice stuff now there's so much it's one of our first trouser suit ever and then you know i found it's like you know i found my father was killed in a brown pinstripe suit mm -hmm. yeah Um, the best memories were 
I, apart from my marriage <laughs> to Fitz, uh, was when I had Vito, my son, and um, had most fun doing black nappies instead of white nappies. So, I mean, I just felt that was the most rebellious thing you could do with babies. <laughs> I guess my career highlight was um, there was one day that we heard that the Darien Toms was going to be demolished inside, which was down the, down the road from, um, on the other side of one of the shops we had on the High Street, Kensington. And so Fitz and I said, come on, let's go up to, on the roof garden, because there's this amazing roof garden. And um, we went with Vitold, and he went and played up there on the little bridge, and it, I just fell in love with it. And I said, Fitz, we've got to get this. We've got to save this building. And he said, okay, I'll get it for you. <laughs> and he did. You know, I just think fashion today is so boring. It's just everything's been already done over and over again. I think it sort of needs to be cleaned out and start again. It'll probably happen in, in a sort of natural way. I think um, fashion is always going to be interesting because you either hate it or then you just go through phases of loving it and it's annoying and it's... Uh, it's, it's always alive and it's moving forward.